Hi there, it's Coot here sending you much love wherever you're watching this right now. In today's short video blog, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to let go of your past. We all have a past, we all have a history, and we all have certain things that we may have done in our past that we're not particularly proud of. You all have certain things in your past that have had an impact on you. And many of us, we carry around old baggage, resentments, anger, hurts, pain from relationships, experiences from our parents that are literally impacting us in the moment. What experiences from your past are you carrying, are you holding on to? What experiences and situations and emotions from your past are you allowing to perhaps hijack or limit the, the freedom that you get to experience in this present moment? You see, it's the actions of our past that literally are, have determined what you are experiencing in the present moment. It's the actions that you take in the present moment that will determine the reality and the experience of your future. If you want to see the thoughts that you were thinking in your past, take a look at your present experience and you'll see what was going on in your past. Your present moment is a manifestation in your past. So if you don't want to keep recreating your past, you have to let go of what, whatever from your past no longer serves you. And just because you made your bed doesn't mean you have to lie in it at any moment. You can recreate, at any moment, you can recreate your experience. At any moment, you can make a new choice. At any moment, you have the power. One of the things that is so important to understand is that you are not powerless. Yes, you may not have been able to control certain things that occurred. You may not have been able to control certain abusive situations. You may not have been able to control certain, certain things with your parents and with your family. But what you have the power to control are the actions that you take in this moment. <clears throat> so in order to let go of your past, you have to first make a choice. One of those fundamental shifts that it's important to make is the choice that I will no longer be a victim. I will no longer be a victim. When you give up the idea of victim mentality, you give up the idea that you don't have any power. What you have the power is to choose, is to choose the actions that you, that you will take in the present moment right now. This is a choice you always have. You also have the power to choose the, the meaning and how you're going to interpret things that occurred for you in your past. You can look at things from your past and you can interpret that from a victim lens as like, you know, it happened to me, life doesn't love me, God doesn't, God doesn't love me. You can interpret things to mean that means I'm not worthy because X, Y, and Z happened. Or you can really take a look at, at life from the lens and your past from the lens uh, and really look at things from the perspective of a, of a learning orientation to life. And you get to ask yourself, okay, if I couldn't control what happened, what can I learn from the situation? How can I use that situation from my past to grow? How can I, what can I learn from that uh, relationship about myself? Because ultimately all lessons in life are repeated until learned. So if you want to let go of your past and not keep recreating your past in your present and in your future, it's important that you learn the inherent lesson in the situation from that past experience because all lessons are repeated until learned. Your soul is on a journey in this lifetime to learn, evolve, and grow. And how you learn, evolve, and grow are through experiences, experiences and, and relationships. So ultimately, everything in your past is your teacher. Everything in your past is a blessing. Everything in your past is here to help you become more of who you truly are if you see it that way. <clears throat> so one thing also is rather than being mad and angry and resentful at the things that have happened in your past, if you really see everything in your life as a school and everything in your life as a learning opportunity, rather than being upset and resisting what's occurred, you can learn to bless it. Bless that person. Bless that situation. Thank that person. If you look back at some of your most challenging, even painful relationships that I would not wish upon you again, they were some of the experiences, situations, lessons and relationships that helped you grow the most, that triggered you perhaps even onto your spiritual path, maybe watching videos, maybe reading spiritual books, going to seminars. It, some of those challenging experiences that were really painful from your past were the very reason that you started to seek out answers to find out who am I and why am I here. So if you really take a moment and look back at your 
your past and rather than cursing it or blaming it or being angry or resentful, bless it. In this moment, right now, right now, watching this video, think of that person, think of that situation and bless it. Just right now, say, I want you to actually say, I bless you. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Because, you know, some of the most challenging people in your life, some of the most challenging situations from your past are simply, like, I would say, angels in disguise sent to you to help you grow wings so that you can fly. Wings so that you can fly and become more of who you truly are. Some of those experiences from your past were a necessary part of the ingredients to help you marinate, to help you become the fullest expression of who you are so that you could be, become the person who is actually able to fulfill the destiny, the dream that you're given. Some of those challenging experiences have helped you, have been helping you develop the inner perseverance and inner soul strength, the mental emotional strength so that you have the capacity to pull off the dream and the vision that you have in your mind and in your heart. So don't resist the past, bless the past, thank the past. Sometimes we don't let go of our past because there is a sort of a, a kind of payoff that we have for holding on to our past. You know, maybe we, well, the payoff, you might think, well, what the hell is the payoff? Sometimes the payoff for holding on to our past is we think by holding on and not letting go, we get to be right. We get to prove that we were right about how much we were wrong. Realize this. Any moment you spend holding on to suffering, any moment you spend holding on to something that no longer works you, anger, anger, rage, resentment, any moment you spend trying to prove uh, how right you were about something that occurred to you is a moment that you robbed yourself. You robbed yourself of your own freedom. And, and no one and nothing is worth your freedom. <clears throat> so my invitation is give up the need to be right. Give it up. Set yourself free. <clears throat> What's important is your freedom. You have one opportunity to live this life. You have one opportunity to experience this moment. <clears throat> Once it's gone, it's gone. So, But sometimes we hold on because we have this payoff. Sometimes another payoff we have for holding on to <clears throat> old anger, old hurt, old emotions, old resentments, old wounds, sometimes for keeping a wall up and not letting our past go is we sometimes use the past as a protection mechanism because if we hold on to the pain from the past and keep our guard up, keep our walls up, then we don't have to risk opening our hearts to love, to new experiences, to new business opportunities because then we, if we don't have to risk opening our hearts, then we don't have to risk failing, we don't have to risk rejection, we get to kind of keep ourselves safe. So sometimes we use staying closed and holding on to our past and what we know, sometimes the suffering that we know is better than the unknown opportunity and possibility of the new, of the unknown, right? I say the degree of freedom you can experience in life is in direct proportion to your ability to embrace the unknown. But sometimes we use what we know, the past, to keep ourselves safe to keep ourselves, at least give ourselves the illusion of safety. If you're in that category, my invitation is that you let it go. <clears throat> let the past go. Make a decision in this moment to let it go because at any moment you have the power. You know, and if you think about the past for a moment, right? Letting go of the past, if you think about the past, got to let go of the past. Where does the past actually exist? We often have this idea that this past is this thing. The past isn't a thing. The past is a concept. It's an idea. It's not this thing that's actually existing. If anything, the past is, is mainly made up of, of interpretations and the story that we're making up about a certain thing that happened. The past isn't necessarily a reality. So when you let go of your meaning and, and the meaning you've given certain things that have occurred, you start freeing yourself and you realize the past isn't something that actually has a hold on me. It, it's not something that has a grip on you. Your past is a concept. Your past is an idea. Your past isn't a real thing. And when you realize and shift your relationship with the past, there's a whole new level of freedom that opens up. Lastly, one of the reasons we often stay stuck to our past, we often end up holding on to our past, or I would, I would say our past ends up having us, is because we've learned from a very young age to suppress our feelings as a way to protect ourselves. We've learned from a very young age to not feel certain hurt, pain, 
anger, resentment, fear as a way to function and survive. So we, we end up suppressing all of these feelings inside of ourselves just to cope and deal with life. All those feelings that we haven't felt that we've learned to suppress disconnect you from your, your joy, disconnect you from your capacity to be free and happy, disconnect you from being able to be in the moment fully because there's all this unfelt feeling that, we've, that you may have suppressed deep inside somewhere. It numbs our, our, our sense of uh, and capacity to be fully alive. In order to let go of your past, you must be willing for a moment to feel the feelings that you haven't felt. Many times we are afraid to feel those feelings, so we distract ourselves. We drug it, we sex it, we work it, we shop it, we social media it, social media it away. And we do whatever it takes to not feel whatever it is that was going on back there. And we end up dragging the past into our present and recreating more uh, of the same in our future. You must be willing to be courageous to feel those feelings that you learn to suppress. Feel those feelings from your past so that they can complete. Sometimes we have a fear that if we feel our feelings, then we'll be overwhelmed. If we feel the pain, if we feel the heartbreak that we, we learn to just hide from and disconnect from, that it will never end. Recognize this. All feelings are simply temporary. And all feelings, all feelings dissolve when you fully feel them. It takes tremendous courage to let go of our past. It, it takes tremendous courage to, to, to be willing to feel the feelings that we've suppressed. Sometimes we get so comfortable feeling numb. Sometimes we get so comfortable feeling disconnected. Sometimes we get so comfortable feeling sad and unhappy and miserable because at least we, we know what this is. It takes great courage to go outside of your comfort zone, to open your heart and to be willing to let the past go so that you can free yourself and open to a new possibility of what it is to be alive. Feel your feelings, communicate your feelings, set them free and free yourself. At any moment you have the opportunity to choose, at any moment, this moment you have the power to create your future. Dear friends, if you enjoyed this video blog, I want to invite you to share it with everyone you know. Uh, comment on my, uh, on my blog. I'd love to read your comments and respond. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, join me on social media, and also subscribe to my email list and you'll receive weekly inspiring updates shortly. And make sure you read uh, the blog I've written underneath this video. Sending you much love.